Welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody. Welcome back to Morningwood. Where, uh, yeah, last time we left off, I, I think we were building this house up here, weren't we? I, I, um, it has been quite a while, I'll be honest, since Prison Architect. Like, I, I record my Prison Architect at the beginning of the week. Last time, did a little bit earlier, like, had, had, like, holiday and everything to contend with as well. So it was kind of... Kind of slotted in between, and then you know, Deep Rock Galactic. That's that's coming out in um, early access soon. So uh, started started producing some video content for that as well, because obviously I love that game. Like honestly, so much fun. I hope you've been watching it. If not, you should watch it. If you like co-op games, like with your friends, highly recommend it. Honestly, um, I'm gonna get some bushes in this space. This looks silly, doesn't it? Let's get a bush down here. Um, yeah, like, there was a bit of that. There's been a bit of stacks and everything going on. Um, I was also, like, middle of last week, really ill. Like, you can still you can still hear, like, I'm, I'm still a little bit raspy. Um, luckily, recorded the Deep Rock Galactic before that. Stacks all um, I've been doing in, in, in batches, like you probably probably noticed if you've been keeping up. Um, so, you know, didn't, didn't have to record anything while I was sick, thankfully. But that was why there was a... Bit of a gap as well. There was some missing prison, ar prison uh, architect last week, and I apologise for that because you know people like TKO, they 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 thrive on their their you know regularity, their their constant you know oh for God's sake series that they they you know stick with and, and follow and enjoy, and I, I can appreciate that. You know I do the same thing, so um, just ignore this. All right, this this isn't happening right now. Um, so yeah, I can I can understand it can be a little bit. A little bit of an annoyance, um, so I apologise for that. But you know what? When when you're sick, you're sick, and uh, I I didn't want to record like a video where I I just sounded like horrendous, you know, really really bad because it it would just be pointless at the end of the day. So first things first, yeah. This this is our this is our house. It's looking pretty good now. I'm pretty pleased with it. I've got to be honest. The wet womb's looking there. Uh, the wet the wet womb uh, is looking nice, uh, but I I have had to take apart the laundry because you know what I I. I guessed, and uh, it, it turned out my guess was correct. If you have the ironing board the way that we have the ironing board, it, it, it complains that you could, they can't reach their working position. Okay? Now, honestly, I really hope... Uh, it's, it's, it's not instantly obvious which way it's supposed to be, right? Like, I, I'm assuming that... Um, it's... Oh, I, I mean... <laughs> that way? I think that's right. <laughs> okay, we'll find out. We'll find out. It's not so obvious. Like, it's got these little dirty patches on it and stuff, and I think you're supposed to be able to tell from them, um, you know, which which way around it is. But honestly, it just... It's impossible. It's, it's genuinely impossible, okay? Let's go and find out where this tunnel was going anyway, shall we? Because it, it seems like some more morning, uh, Morningwood residents just don't... don't quite understand, you know, the concept of... Um, the concept of love that we're trying to spread here in Morningwood, you know, um, the, the word of Morningwood. We'll, we'll have to get some of the... Whoa. All right. That was, that was, that was excessive. Uh, we'll have to get some of the old, uh, you know, the, the, the Morningwood elites to kind of talk to them. Uh, we'll, we'll send them out to round them up, you know, in the morning. We'll see who we can release. That's a good point, actually. Uh, we, we had a lot of people reach enlightenment um, while I was letting the game run. I literally made, like, 18 grand, which was pretty nice. I'll be honest with you, a uh, big chunk of people. That's why we've got 10 people coming in in the morning, which is going to be a nice uh, ooh, free grand. Hooray! Um, but yeah, anyway, I, today's episode is going to be reasonably short. Why? Because I've been, I've been working on something, okay? Like, I, I can tell you what I've been working on. It's not any, any kind of secret. Like, every now and then, I get a little bit bored. Um, you know, I, I, I get kind of stir-crazy, perhaps, like doing the same old things. And, like, I just take a day out to... Wait, did I... Have I just... Have I just replaced... No. Okay. I it, I, I kind of thought that I'd replace... <laughs> I, I may, actually, I may well have done. It looked like I may have replaced the foundation wall with um, concrete tile, which probably probably isn't a good way to keep people in the in, in the in the village, you know, or keep them safe, anyway. But, uh, yeah, no, anyway, so, every now and then I get a little bit bored, a little bit stir-crazy, so I just kind of, like decide to make a game um and it won't be won't be anything like particularly you know particularly strenuous or particularly like fancy it's it's not like a big epic you know adventure rpg or something like that maybe maybe it's even just like a little tech demo you know like i, I made a little ray casting 3d style game um a while back which was just to 
just to you know see how Wolfenstein 3D was rendering um, or rendered, and and I you know you know just stuff like that. I was kind of curious, and I figured uh, why why not spend some time. Yeah, so this weekend I've I've pretty much done the same thing. Like I um I just got bored, decided to like make a little spacey kind of game, you know, just drive a spaceship down like the middle of uh, some obstacles and stuff, you know. I, I don't know, I've just been just been poking at that and, and like I don't know, I haven't put a huge amount of time into it. It's nearly finished. Is this oh my god, this tunnel's still going. Um yeah, I haven't, I haven't put a huge amount of time into it. It's nearly finished, probably about eight hours at, at max. Um Maybe I'll do a video, you know? I maybe maybe I'll do a little video to show you what it is that I made, like if I can if I can try and show you how I made it as well, like I will do, although obviously once once they're made it can be a little bit tricky. Um I don't know. Would that be interesting to watch? Would would it be interesting to see like how something like that was made? Would people be would would and I mean I don't know if people would actually be interested in seeing that stuff. I mean it kind of it sounds exciting, you know, like watching a watching a game being made. But honestly, like the actual processes involved aren't that exciting, and like I just don't know if people would be all that interested in seeing them. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like a time lapse or something, or maybe just like a, a brief overview of all the all the things that I've I've I don't know installed and had to do or something like that. So anyway, look, this is our this is going to be cold storage, okay? Cold storage is what we use to, to, to put in like fancy vending machines and stuff. And uh, TKO was in the Discord and he was saying, Fodder, when are the people of Morningwood going to get themselves some fancy ass vending machines? And I was like, TKO, you know what? You are right. The people of Morningwood deserve fancy ass vending machines with like the fancy ass like products that come inside them, you know? I don't know, kale and, and spinach milkshakes or something, some, some bullshit like that. Whatever it is that the, the people of Morningwood want in there. Their fancy vending machines, and they can have it. Okay, so that's what we're working on today. We're gonna we're gonna try turn this little building here into a into a quick cold storage. All right. While we, I mean, the problem is we've got a lot of workmen working elsewhere. Okay, like it. it is this? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Right. Well, I. <sighs> This game, I love this game, I really do. But it has it has its problems. It's got to be said. Like they they kind of go, hey, hey guys, we've we finished the game. You can you can play it as much as you want now. And then of course, when you actually get to play it, it turns out that like it's still got loads of little little glitches and bugs and things like that. But you know what the problem is? People of people at that company just got used to them, like and they they totally overlook them. They don't even realise that they're they're a thing. If you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, back, back to the conversation. Yeah, we, we were going to do cold storage, like... I, I would like to know if people would like to see game development in action, okay? Like, or, or how they would like to see it, what kinds of things they'd like to see, or if you're just interested in seeing, like, the end result of my labour, e.g. like the, the, the stupid little things that I put together, the, the, the games and tools. So I talked about doing something on them before. Like, I have, I have toyed with the idea as well in my mind, like, just doing some videos about I don't know, tools or, or games or... I don't know. Like, I, I think I'd, I... I probably talked about them in my last Prison Architect video as well. That's the thing, because, like, Prison Architects is the kind of series that makes me think of that kind of stuff. And, uh... Jesus... Jesus Christ, guys, will you please just... hurry up and finish these foundations for me? Come on. Is it too much to ask? The trees have come down. There's, there's very little else that needs to be done here. I really want to turn it into a cold storage before I... before I die. Honestly. That, that would be the best. Okay? I know we've only got 15 workers, right? We've had to keep the number of workers down because of the daily cash flow, but honestly, like, do we need more than 15 workers? Like, it's, it's not like we've got a huge strenuous... Oh, there we go. Strenuous amount of things for them to actually be getting on with, you know? Uh, you know what, fuck it. I'm going I'm to keep that wall like that for now, because once we extend out, I can turn this into a, a normal wall, or maybe even extend the cold storage out if it turns out that, that we want to do that, you know? Uh, right, let's get to the job at hand, okay? Enough... enough talking about games and, and tools and stuff let's get to building a cold storage okay so what do we need to do in a cold storage it needs to be four by three check enclosed indoors it has to have an air conditioner attached to it and it needs to be filled with storage racks okay so let's first of all let's get let's get this mother trucker filled up with storage racks shall we because uh we we want to make sure that we've got enough oh yeah look at this this is this is actually perfect i i like it oh yes Yes, yes, fill the space. 
Oh my god, look at that. I couldn't have done it more perfect if I tried. Oh, I and mean, they don't even rotate, so yeah, that is that is absolutely perfect. We've, we've, we've filled it exactly with uh, the right amount of stuff that we want to do. The next thing we're going to have to install, though, is an air conditioner, okay? Now, this is this is the confusing part. I did... I mean, I did try and try and install one of these before, and uh, honestly, it didn't... It, it didn't go well, okay? Uh, it, it went pretty badly, in fact. I, I, I just totally fluffed it up. Um, I'm not quite sure what, what it was that I fluffed up about it, but oh, look, they've already started to fill this, uh, fill this cold storage of oranges. Is that why... I see. Is that why our delivery area is just full of oranges at the moment? I see, because they don't have cold storage to put the shit in. Right, gotcha. Okay, so that might that might actually speed things up a little bit, because at the moment we've got like two days worth of prisoners just sat on buses, waiting to uh, waiting to come into the um, into the into the village. I mean, I called them prisoners. I didn't mean prisoners. I just meant you know, villagers, uh, visitors, um, just people who were coming to stay with us for a little while. You know, coming to coming to enjoy the. The, the sights are more... I'll shut up now. Uh, so, how do we get this air conditioner hooked in, though? Because the air conditioner... The air conditioner is slightly fancy. Look. An air conditioner to vent air between rooms. Works best on an outer wall for cooling. Wire the door timer beneath it to operate. And specify the hours you want to have the aircon running. The blades will animate when it's turned on. Okay. So we need to put... Um, a door timer beneath it. Where's the door timer? There it is. Can be used to automatically open doors. Use to connect doors to connect this timer to your door surface. Um, so we need to we need to connect this door timer to the air conditioner. We'll we'll put a door timer there. Okay. And then I guess I guess we have to wait until wait until these things are installed, unfortunately. Let's let's try and speed things up a little bit. Because, yeah, this was the bit where I fell over last time. Like, I tried to hook it up, and it sort of looked like it was working, but then it wasn't working, and then, like, I think it did work, but then maybe it was it was not, not the right size, or, like, I couldn't get the shelves in, or, or some junk... What, what the hell was that noise? One of, one of our work... Oh, here we go. No, look, there is, there is already a door control... A door control server underneath. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out, guys. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Let's have a little look at this. So we we need to go. Um, is it door timer? All right. Now we want it to. Uh, we probably want it to be running. Like, should we just run it every other hour and see what happens? Like, maybe maybe that will keep the room cool. Maybe it won't keep the room cool. Maybe it will just. Um, you know, do, do absolutely nothing. Okay. So that's hooked up now. The The door control timer says it should be off from 11 till 12. So maybe it's okay it's not spinning right... Oh, yeah, we've, we've got no electricity to it either. Oh, I really hope this works. Like, I really want this cold storage to be successful, honestly. I don't know where all our workers have gone. They've, they've, they've all just fucked off somewhere. Um, guys? Oh, for God's sake. Right, I, you know what, I really might, I might have to get a door server I want to go over here. Like, we'll just get one dude in an office somewhere. We'll build him, like, in a, his own personal little room he can sit in and just, just work the doors for us and nothing else, you know? Like, we'll call him Big Tim. And, uh, Big Tim can just be, like, Timmy, old, old Timmy, um, I don't know, Timmy Doorfingers? Something, something like that. We'll, we'll, we'll come up with a suitable nickname for Big Tim, you know, we'll get it printed on, like, his, his little badge who can go home at night and his kids can be like oh daddy i, I see you they, they've got a nickname for you that's a real i mean we'll make it a nice nickname obviously we're not going to make it a mean nickname you know we don't want to send him home with a, a nasty word written on his badge because then he's got to explain to his kids what that word means <gasps> it's running oh it's 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 fucking on oh and now it's off okay well that's fine though we saw it running okay that that is good i that means if I check the temperature, um, it, it is, of course, 25 degrees in here. Hopefully, at some point, like, when, when this is running for, for a while, this will, um... I mean, what happens if this isn't keeping cool? I mean, really? Like, is the game going to make all of this stuff go mouldy? Am I going to have to pay even more for it? Is it going to make staff members sick? What's what's the deal here? I don't know. Now we've got our cold storage done now, how about we, uh, how about we give them some sandwich machines? How does that sound? What do you reckon? We could stick a sandwich machine down, 
uh, right here in the parole offices. Um, not the parole offices, of course, the enlightenment offices. I've always wanted to put some put some snack machines down in these corridors as well. We're going to put two sandwich machines, and I think we're going to push the boat out, right? And we're going to get them some fruit vending machines as well. Oh, shit, son. These guys, these guys are, are freaking rolling in it, honestly. Now, you can't rotate these vending machines, which is, is an annoyance. It's got to be said. But uh, we can put water vending machines down as well, so that this hospital, uh, hospital is like the the best kitted uh, vending machine based hospital in in the entire of the land okay let's let's just check the logistics on this place now temperature hmm so I don't I don't know if this is working or not this is the thing should we just turn this on and I mean what's the penalties for having this on constantly I don't know un I mean is that maybe in terms of like the cold storage room there is no penalty maybe it's for when you uh you know, when you've got it on the side of an actual building and you want to try and keep the people inside slightly cool. Maybe that's maybe that's what it's for. Um, I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it, okay? Like I said, I, d I don't know how to get this cold storage working properly, okay? But I think we're going to finish up there, okay? One thing one thing we're going to have to do the next time we come back is get some uh, get some vending machines down for everybody, you know? Just, just scattered all over the place. I, I want to see vending machines, like, as far as the eye can see. And by as far as the eyes can see, I, I mean like till the next next bit of brick wall, you know, because you, you can't see round corners at the end of the day. Uh, we're only going to put one in the shopping mall because the shopping mall's got its own food court and we don't, wanna, we don't want shoppers filling up on the old uh, snacks instead of going to the restaurant and spending their money there. But uh, I think maybe the visitation place, that could probably do with some vending machines scattered across this top wall up here. Uh, reception, you know, while people are waiting to be served and things, they probably want some vending machines. Of course, uh, the protected custody and the Ambrosia district definitely need some vending machines. Now, these ones are going to have to be like Japanese-style vending machines, e.g. They're going to have to be like outside, maybe undercover. We could put them in these alleyways, actually, couldn't we? That could be kind of cool. If we put them in these little alleyways and then we can, we can like, you know, block them off and, and, you know, I don't know, sell panties in there or something like that. Just go really, really Japanese with it. Like, full-on, full-on Asian culture shock. Um, let's open this door for you, shall we? Can we, can we? There we go. Right, done. Anyway, it looks like uh, looks like our work here is done today. Our first little shared house is up and running. We've got, I think it's Beck, Beck Slatter. He's living in this dormitory right now. I don't know where his uh, where his his family members are, but it does does look like the whole thing is working. Uh, I I did have to build this little wall so that the laundry room would be separated, because otherwise the dorm wasn't enclosed by walls. Um, we also we also definitely needed to get a water boiler down for these these guys. I'm just gonna put it there for now, so that I remember next time. Um, but it's it's looking pretty good, you know. I might duplicate this a couple of times. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll maybe we'll build some individual individual instances. But honestly, I really like it. I think we should just turn this into like Wisteria Lane. And have like all the identical looking houses with like the different decor on them. Because I, I reckon that'll be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying some prison architect in a, in a slightly unusual manner. You know, the, the city of Morningwood is looking awesome now. Uh, don't forget to leave comments and, 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 and press like buttons like I said. And come, come and join us in Discord. Come and chat in Discord. Discord's always fun. And I will see you in the next video.